part two to the other friend. So you pretty much just stopped talking to me altogether and I attribute it to one of two things or maybe it was both of those things. We were friends for 10 years and we talked on the phone pretty much every single day and I really valued your friendship. I did notice some things starting to go awry as you battled with your mental illness and your well-being. And I noticed that you would sit in your victimhood and that is something that I just don't, I don't value that in people. I value people that are willing to um, go through their trauma, examine their trauma, and make a, a clear and conscious decision to move forward from their trauma and may allow it to make them a stronger person. But instead, I saw somebody that was t experiencing trauma and basically you were relishing in your victimhood. And I just, I don't think that that is, I don't think that that's a good thing. I think that it's actually a bad thing and I think that it harms people around you who love you. So the two things that I think maybe why you don't talk to me anymore, you just completely ghosted me is one is I told you that I didn't like it when you yawned or baby talked your cat when we were on the phone together. It was a clear uh, boundary I said, hey, if I'm gonna call you, please don't squeal and baby talk to your cat while we're on the phone. And please don't yawn into the phone or you know get so fucking loaded while we were talking that you forgot what I had told you the previous conversation and that really irritated me too because I was maintaining sobriety and trying to be better and I tried to call my friend and I could hear her bong in the background. The other thing was I called the cops on somebody in your family because they were on the run and the news was looking for them. And I kept that from you, I did, I lied. I said that I had no idea how the detective got your phone number and called you, but I did tell you probably about 30 days later that yeah, you know what, it was me. I do believe in protecting the community even if that duty will supersede another duty. So my duty to you was pushed aside by my duty to that community to make sure that that dangerous person wasn't on the run. That person needs to have accountability. Your family needs to have accountability for supporting somebody who does such things. Now I'm not going to get into what those things were, but obviously it was bad enough for me to be like, hmm, he's all over the news. There's a, there's a picture of him and and people are looking for him and he was already in trouble for doing something similar which those things are the worst things that anybody could do so I feel pretty dang good that I don't talk to you anymore and I thought about maybe writing you a letter and you know telling you all the things that are go through my head because this has been very hurtful and I've chosen not to because it's probably best to just let sleeping dogs lie. But now I see, you know, I saw you do this with other relationships while we were friends. I saw you just stop talking to people because you became angry with them or because they said something to you that you didn't like. And I just, you know, thought, well, you know, maybe they did something wrong. And I was totally on your side about it. Well, now it's my turn and you've done it to me. And looking at it, granted, I am not a perfect person and I can be a total asshole. And sometimes I am slightly dishonest to protect whoever is involved. But I was honestly loyal and your friend. And I really, I wish you the best and I hope things are going well for you. And I hope that you've made some decisions to um, bring in more productivity into your life and you know putting this all of this on the internet for both of these people I don't think it really matters much in the scheme of things because otherwise it wouldn't there would be no closure for me or for you I mean and I I'm one of those people that likes to you know wrap these up wrap things up in a nice little bow at the end of something big so 
au revoir. Have a great life.